Hey, it's Shane. Today, I'm gonna to teach you everything you need to know about shaving angles. I'm gonna teach you the boring technical information, what's steep, what's shallow, and then I'm gonna give you my three rules for finding the perfect shaving angle for any razor. That way you can take this information, go out and get the best shaves of your life. All right, shaving angle is one of those things that gets confused a lot. If you go onto a forum, you'll see that for every 10 people, five think shallow is one thing and the other five think that actually means steep and people are really confused about what angles mean and how to find the right angle. It's actually really simple, but it's something that people get wrong a lot. So let's be really clear here. The shaving angle refers to one thing and one thing only, and it is simply the angle between the blade and your skin. The handle has nothing to do with it. The handle often moves you know, with the blade, but we don't care about any of that. All we care about is the angle of the blade to your skin. And a shallow angle, as you can see here, is an angle where the, uh, well, the angle is really small. So there is no general rule about what makes something shallow or steep. It's obviously a spectrum. And in general, the closer you get to having your top cap on your skin, the more shallow your shaving angle will be. And the further your skin is away from the top cap, that is the steepest angle. So closer to 90 degrees is steep and closer to zero degrees is shallow. And we should also be clear here that the entire point of finding the right shaving angle is that each razor is designed to shave in an optimal configuration. That is, there is a range of angles where a razor shaves best. And razor designers take our time to make sure that the razor is going to perform at its maximum efficiency, maximum closeness, whatever the goal is of the razor, there's an angle range that the head wants to be at to perform best. And so finding that angle is what the game's all about. The idea being, if you find the optimal angle, then you will get better shaves. And each razor is different, so you have to find the angle for each razor. And that's why we wanna make sure that we're getting our shaving angles perfect. And we're also gonna learn how to use shaving angle to your advantage to get even better shaves. And some manufacturers will specifically put, you know, 25 degrees to 30 degrees, and they will identify the angle range they want you to shave at. I don't know how the hell we expect you guys to know if you're shaving at 22 degrees or 30 degrees. Um, you know, I think that's frankly ridiculous. That's why we no longer have that on our website. Um, and I'm gonna give you better guidance for finding the shaving angle instead of using your protractor or something to figure out if you're at 26 or 27 degrees. Now that we have a little background and we're clear on the terminology, I'm gonna give you my three rules for finding the perfect shaving angle in your razor. Rule number one, is really a rule for everything in life, and that is if it's working for you and you like it, then it's the right angle. You don't need to wonder, oh, well, the website says that I should be at 32.5 degrees. It seems more like I'm at 25 degrees, but I really like it. Am I doing it wrong? No, you're not doing it wrong. If you're getting good shaves and you're happy with where you're at, that's all that matters. You can throw away the protractor, you can close the website, and you can just shave. And that is a rule, by the way, for, for everything, all shaving especially, but uh, really anything in life. You know, we have people come ask us all the time, hey, I'm getting great shaves with my razor, but uh, am I using the right angle? And to me, the answer is if you're getting great shaves, you're using the right angle. Um, what we say is the right angle may not be what is the right angle for you. So if it's working, then you're done. Rule number two is you need to adapt your shaving angle to your razor instead of the other way around. Each razor, even from the same manufacturer, will have a different shaving angle that is optimal for performance. And so your job is to change your angle to match the razor you're using, and your job is to find that shaving angle. If you try to use the same angle with every single razor, for some it's gonna be great, and for others it's gonna fall way out of the range of optimal. So you need to be versatile, and you need to adapt to the razor. The razor should not be adapting to you. And that takes us to my third and final rule. What is my third and final rule? And that takes us to my third and final rule of finding the perfect shaving angle. And that is to use the angle to your advantage. Shaving angle isn't something that has to be fixed all the time. Um, sometimes people think that you have to like lock your wrist in and try to 
you know, maintain that perfect geometry the entire time. This is impossible. And that's a good thing. One of the big benefits of a safety razor compared to like a cartridge is that you can change the angle to suit your needs. So a good example of this is for a razor that has especially a high blade gap and a high blade exposure, you can use the safety bar as a pivot on your skin to control how much blade engagement you want. So you can see here when we have the safety bar to the skin, if we kind of use a, uh, a shallow angle, you're gonna drive that blade more into your skin. So you're going to get a more efficient uh, shave, you're gonna get a closer shave, and you're gonna have more blade feel. Or you can use that pivot and go steeper, and that's actually gonna pull the blade off the skin a bit. And by pulling the blade off the skin, you're gonna obviously decrease that blade engagement, and that will be helpful if you don't want as much blade in a certain part of your uh, face. And you can use this either um, all the time, like maybe you just want to make a more aggressive razor work for you, so you use a steeper angle to pull that blade off the skin, or maybe you want to change it during a shave, say against the grain, you want a really shallow angle with maximum blade engagement or the opposite, you can do that. Or even different areas of your face. If you know that this is a really tough spot in my neck, you can use more blade engagement there if that benefits you. And so you can turn every razor, um, not every razor, but a lot of razors into something of an adjustable by using gap to your advantage. But the only way, or sorry, by using angle to your advantage. But the only way to do that is if you play with the angle. If you spend some time experimenting with the different angles, shallow, steep, and everything in between to see what it does, to see how it impacts the shape, to see how it impacts your skin, and to circle back to rule number one, which one makes you happy? Which one works best for you? You get there by experimenting. All right, so those are my three rules for finding the perfect shaving angle. I hope that helps. I think that shaving angle is something that's talked about a lot, but surprisingly, understood pretty poorly, I think, by the average shaver. And uh, anyway, I hope you get some value from this video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for following, uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.